So on Twitter, on Michael Benson's Twitter page, there is a quote from Fish Eyes. We all know who that is. And he's basically talking about his July the 13th card, which is going to feature Daniel Dubois versus Nathan Gorman. And he's actually stated that Derek Chisora has been offered to fight Joe Joyce. But Derek Chisora has priced himself out requesting a seven-figure payday to fight Joe Joyce. Okay, now this isn't the first time that Derek Chisora has been offered the Joe Joyce fight and been offered. Now, I don't know actually what offer Fish Eyes would have made to Chisora, to be fair. But I know last year, David Hay was trying to get Derek Chisora in with Joe Joyce on the, I think it was even on the Bellew, uh, what was it, the Bellew um, Hay undercard. He was looking to get Joe Joyce in there with Derek Chisora. And I think the offer was something like 250 grand. Derek Chisora, you know, didn't didn't take the fight and he even I remember um he fought I think was on Kel Brooks undercard or one of the undercards it might have been Amir Khan's and David Hay you know came up corner Derek Chisora after the fight and Derek Chisora basically said you know I'll fight Joe Joyce if I win you give me your purse and David Hay said no of course I think it was just to make David Hay look like the bad guy which he did a good job of to be fair which is kind of ironic now that given a few months later they're pretty much you know tight as thieves so if this is true and, you know, you take stuff that Fish Eye says with a pinch of salt. You take anything any promoter says with a pinch of salt. It's never, never gospel. It's never fact. Most of the time, anyway. You take it with a pinch of salt. If this is the case and Derek Chisora has priced himself out of this fight, then again, it's not the first time he's done it. Derek Chisora took a risk when he didn't take the Joe Joyce fight last year. He went on and fought Carlos Takam. He beat Carlos Takam. with no idea what the purse was that fight. But he ended up getting a Dylan White fight out of it where I'm assuming he would have made Sky pay-per-view. He probably made a million in around that, maybe more. So it was a risk worth taking not going in there with Joe Joyce because if he went in there with Joe Joyce, there was a highly good chance that he would lose that fight. And if he lost to Joe Joyce, that's it. It's the end of everything, okay? So obviously Derek Chisora feels that there's still more to give, that he's more to add, especially under Dave Cole. Maybe he feels that he has more to offer and that he feels, no, taking a fight against Joe Joyce is not the best idea career-wise if I want to have, you know, a couple more big paydays. So what I'll do is I'll ask for one big payday, give me seven figures to fight Joe Joyce, which they'll obviously won't give. And then, you know, so be it. I won't have to take the fight. That's kind of what I imagine happened. Um, again, as I say, fish eyes, take it with a pinch of salt. You know what he can be like. And, you know, so it's like any more. Eddie Hearn could be like that too. You take anything these more say with a pinch of salt. But if that is the case, then it is Derek Chisora, again, not looking to go to Joe Joyce route. What other route is there? Would he fight the winner of David Price, Dave Allen? Um, possibly. Would he be on the Dylan White card? Possibly. I think that he may be looking at that Joseph Parker fight still. And the Joseph Parker fight, I think it's, I wouldn't say it's a winnable fight, but I do think that Joseph Parker, maybe he is a bit overrated. Maybe he's not as good as certain people make him out to be. I don't know. I'd still pick Joseph Parker to beat Derek Chisora. But I think with Joseph Parker, maybe he wouldn't be, maybe he would get a higher offer. Maybe it's a higher risk reward. You know, if he loses to Joseph Parker, he's lost to a former world champion. Maybe he can keep going. I doubt it, but maybe. And it probably would be a bigger payday. But if he lost to Joe Joyce, who is on his way up, you know, it's the end of everything pretty much. So ask for crazy money. And if you don't get it, you, you can say, right, I'm not fighting him. That's what I imagine happened. Again, who knows? Let me know what you guys think down below. Would you like to see Derek Chisora versus Joe Joyce? I mean, I'd be picking Joe Joyce heavily in that fight. Very heavily. But let me know what you guys think down below. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I will talk to you after.